Hi, I'm Cindy at the Paper Studio, and today we're going to make some pendant tray blanks. Um, these are jewelry pendant trays. They're, they're pewter trays that are hand pounded, and some of them are covered in copper, gold, and silver. But they've become one of the most popular kind of accessory items that you can wear as a bracelet, a necklace. You could add a little tag to your pet's uh, collar. You can add it to a book or a scrapbook page. They're just really terrifically fun. So when you make a pendant, you need to start with a pendant tray blank. They come in all different sizes. They come in rectangle squares, circles, and such. And like I said, some are coated with copper or gold. When you make your pendant, you need to select your image. So you can use decorative papers, or you could use actual photographs, or you could use um, pages, words from a dictionary. So it's pretty wide open. When you make a pendant, you need to cover it with some sort of glaze that gives you the glass-like finish. We use crystal lacquer. You can also use diamond glaze. You can also use another product called Glossy Accents. And then a newer thing that you can use is this ultra-thick embossing enamel. It's a powder that you sprinkle on and then you actually bake the tray. The nice thing about the enamel is that once the tray cools off from baking, which is about two minutes, the tray is totally hardened and ready to go. With these other products, you have to wait at least eight to 24 hours before touching it. Okay, so now we're gonna make a pendant. The first thing I do is use a little bit of your adhesive to line the bottom of the tray. It's better not to introduce another type of glue because it can, it can tend to bleed and um, interact with the adhesives. So I'm adding a little piece of decorative paper and I'm just going to tamp it down. I just want a little bit of red peeking out on this image. So I'm tamping it down. This is a micro spatula but you could use a pin or tweezers or something like that. So I've got that tamped down. I'm going to add this little decorative postage stamp that I found. It's a foreign stamp that has a lizard on it. So I'm adding a little more adhesive and I decide that I want the red to peek out at the top. So I'm just going to add a little bit more. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of sparkle with something called art glitter. It's kind of fun. Just adds a little bit of kind of bling to your jewelry. But you don't want to add too much because it could get too opaque. So once I've got it all in there, now I'm going to fill it. And the, I always put the loop over the edge of a book or this is, I'm working on a brick but at the edge of a table because you want your tray to set set level, sit level, so you need to have that loop hanging off the side so that your tray can sit totally flat. So now I've filled it. You want to check to see if you have any bubbles. I think we're pretty good. If you get a bubble, just scrape it and pull it off the side. So now you're going to let it dry for 24 hours. So have fun making pendants.